If you copy data from a website into Excel, you might end up with some little images that you don't want. Perhaps there are some buttons from the website or little icons that you would click on that site to go to the top of the page. So we'll see how to get rid of those images very quickly in Excel. Now here's a page on the Microsoft website. There's a list of keyboard shortcuts and I've selected all that. I'm going to copy it into an Excel file. So with all of that selected, I'll go to Edit, Copy, and then I'll switch to Excel. I'd like to paste it here. So with this cell selected, I click the Paste button. We can see all the details that copied over very nicely. I'm just going to turn on wrap and then turn it off and that will take the wrap text out of all the cells. But we can see here a little icon that was copied from the web page. There are probably others. If I scroll down, I might see a few more. So there's another one. To see a full list of the objects that have been copied, I'll go to the Home tab and at the far right, click Find and Select. Click Selection Pane and that opens up a list here and I can see all the pictures. So there are four pictures that were copied from the website onto this page. If I click on one of these, it would select that object. So if I click here, Picture 6, I can see that this object has been selected. Then I could just use the delete key on my keyboard to get rid of that one. Now if there are lots of images and you want to get rid of them all, it would take quite a while to go through and select each one from this list and delete it. So I'm going to hide the list. I'll just click this X to close it. To select all of the objects, if I want to get rid of all of them, I go back to find and select, go to special, and this opens up this dialog box and I can select different things on this worksheet. I'm going to select objects. When I click OK, that object is selected and if I scroll back up to the top, I can see this one. So everything is selected now and I'll just have to press the delete key on my keyboard and that gets rid of them all. And just to verify, I'll go back to find and select, open the selection pane and there aren't any more objects on the worksheet. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.